everybody. It's your boy Sinister. Team OG, we in the building. Stand up. Um, I want to come talk to everybody today that's looking to come in the truck in. And you go to a company where there's no APUs on the truck. First thing first, I know a lot of companies have idle policies. And you're going to be out here doing OTR. Some of y'all might be doing reads, you know. You want to be somewhere. You can be in Atlanta where it's hot. You can be in Texas where it's hot. And your company is on you about idling the truck because they don't want you to burn fuel because they want to save money on fuel. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this, com this, this topic up is because I saw a post today on Facebook where a driver lost his life. And he ain't lose his life due to violence. He ain't lose his life because of a reckless accident. He lost his life because he decided that he was not going to idle his truck because his company probably was riding him about the idler. First of all, let me break this down to a lot of y'all that's home watching watching this video. You sleep in a, you sleep in that truck with that AC off. And first of all, let me tell you the other thing that happens. You're not going to sleep with your windows rolled down because you know some truck stops got people walking around. Somebody might walk up, try to get in your truck because your window down. So the driver slept in his truck, turned off, windows rolled up. It's hot at night. I've been in Phoenix where it was 8 o'clock at night, and it was 108 degrees. I said, hell with that. I'm idle. They want to be mad. They want to be mad about it. They going to have to be mad about it. But you you go to sleep at night and you don't get that good, comfortable sleep. You're a danger in the morning. And not just the fact of that, you ain't get no good sleep. You, you sweating. You sweating. You can heat stroke in your truck. So this driver was found in his truck, passed away. Why? Because he decided he wasn't going to idle because he probably been... Yo, stop idling. Don't idle. You know, if you if your company is threatening to let you go because you idling and you show and you telling them, yo, it's 80 degrees, it's 90 degrees, it's 100 degrees. It's time to go. You got a CDL. When you get the CDL, when you get that license, let me tell y'all something. And please. Soak this in. I don't care how you soak. Write it on the wall. Write it on your hand. Write it in your palm. Tattoo it. When you got that CDL and your CDL is clean, and you go to a company that sit there and they threaten to fire you because you idle too much, it's time to go anyway. Do not. Do not. Be in the truck with the AC off with the temperature that is with a hot temperature that is dangerous you okay night we have an idle policy but during the winter time my terminal manager says look use that bunk heater as much as you can during the winter without idling so when the summertime come around and it gets hot you can idle it balances itself out with fuel costs. Now, some people going to go to companies where they don't want you idling, and you're going to have to put that turbo fan that they sell at the truck stop in your truck. But guess what? That turbo fan don't do nothing but circulate the hot air in there anyway. Now, what can you do about that? You can turn the truck on, crank it up, cool it off, let the, 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 the turbo fan circulate the cool air, but guess what? Eventually, that sun beaming on the roof of your truck or it just being hot outside, it heats the inside of that truck up. So you can have, I got a Pro Star, I got windows in my bottom bunk sleeper I can push out. But ain't no real air coming through there. Ain't no real air coming through there. 
I still be sweating in my truck. I was at the rest area this weekend, and I decided not to idle. I went to sleep. I woke up. The collar, I'm sweating. My collar's wet. My shirt wet. My back wet. I'm sweating. I'm like, yo, you know what? Idling. And my comfortability is going to be first. And if you at a company where you have an issues with idling and you just you just feel it's just too dangerous for you, listen, there's many companies out here that got company there's many companies out here that have APUs on their truck, which helps save them fuel. You get that APU unit. You can sleep comfortable at night. It kicks on when it wants to, and it kicks off, and then it kicks back on. Now, some of y'all gonna like here at night, and at Warner, I remember at Warner, when you crank the truck and you let it run, after a certain amount of minutes of it running, it shuts off the truck. The truck shuts off. Then you gotta get up in the middle of the night, crank the truck. So guess what? Now you're not even getting the, the adequate amount of sleep that you need to be well rested for driving the next 11 hours that you got to do tomorrow. So, you know, I just want to say rest in peace to that driver who lost his life because he worked at a company that they was probably riding him about idling and he had he slept in his truck with the windows rolled up. I'm, I'm here on Facebook. I don't let me see if I can find it. Um, let me see if I can Google it. Um, driver. To heat. I don't, I don't see it, but I'm. I tried to Google it to see if it was, um, if I could find it actually. Um, Six fifteen. See if I could find it. Two thousand sixteen. Yep, here we go, right here. Driver dies in truck due to heat. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. So, you have to, you have to have comfortability. You have to have comfortability, and you're you're gonna have your DM, which is your dispatcher, tell you, oh, your idling is high, and you know what? The day that you're gonna idle, take a picture of your your temperature off your gauge, or buy um, something you can put in your truck that that monitors the temperature, or screenshot your phone in the beginning. Like, let me see, Mars. Yep, right here. Look. On my phone, it says 86 degrees. Screenshot that. You hold your you hold your power button and the home button and screenshot. It. You shoot that to your DM. Listen, I idle because my temperature is this, and this is how hot it is in my truck. This is how hot it is out here, where wherever you at. So please. Um, Drink a lot of water and take care of yourselves out here because this this game is very dangerous driving wise, but it also could be dangerous to you if you sleep in that truck with no AC on and your windows closed up and this is something that has to be changed. And 
you got to get comfortable. You got to be comfortable because an uncomfortable driver with a lack of sleep is a rolling accident in the making. And you're going to kill yourself or you're going to kill somebody else and you're going to go to jail if you survive. Because they're going to investigate, okay, did you sleep last night? Oh, I couldn't sleep. It was hot in my truck. So why you ain't idle? My company don't want me to idle. Then what? Because at the end of the day, they going to say it, it, anything you do, anything you do, get written. Get, get it in writing. Get it on that Qualcomm, get it on that Zonar, get it in the text message from your DM, screenshot it to cover yourself. Because if something get crazy with you out here on this road, they're going to definitely cover themselves. Don't let a DM tell you to run the load overweight. Don't let a DM tell you to run illegal. And if you run illegal and you get popped, then that's your personal choice and you take responsibility for you making that, that numb nut decision, period. So this your boy Sinister Man. I just wanted to point that out and um, I'll be dropping another video after this one. So uh, please subscribe, thumbs up the video and uh, leave your comments and I hope this give y'all some food for thought. And um, I'll get back with y'all in a little bit, all right? Peace out.